<laughs> no worries <laughs> at all, man. So, hey, man, we're live, bro. So, <laughs> welcome to the show. Yes. So, I'm just going to do a few shares here, and then uh, we'll get it going. So, uh, Sounds good. yeah, how uh, how is your uh, nephew there? He is actually playing with uh, um, Montadia. <laughs> He's playing with everything. <laughs> He's playing with, like, all kind of tools, kitchenware, yeah. everything. So, well, how old is he? A year and a half. Oh, okay, cool, cool, man. Cool. Yeah, man, it's like, what is it, like 10 o'clock over there? <laughs> it's 10 06. Yeah, so yeah my kids. Uh, it's like 11. My my kid is still up. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> so my <laughs> wife's watching it too. So, man, I should, I should try to find a way to get them to go sleep earlier, you know? So, so yeah. to those of you guys who just joined us, you know, we got the famous Zane Lore, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, give us a few minutes. We're going to share this out and then uh, say hi to Zane, guys. So, hey, and then uh, what's up? let us. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see nothing here. <laughs> you won't see them. But let's see here. Let's see. Uh, let me let me put the comments on. Let's see if it, it pops up here so that you can you can see their names here. This is uh, Bao says hi. Go, uh, go, go, <laughs> Uh, you got a few people. Right? My comments aren't coming up. Let's see here. Let's see. Let me get them to come up. Let's see what comes up. Facebook Live. What's that? This is a little bit different from Facebook Live. Yeah, it is. It, it. <laughs> yeah, it taps into like it's a third party <laughs> app and it taps into like, um, you know, like the Facebook Live stuff. So, yeah, that's how it works. So. Um, they, those of you guys just joined, hey, get to say how to Zane Lore, you know, the famous, the famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we lost him. All right. Um, we'll get him back off. We haven't started yet. So, um, uh, let me do a few shares here and then get him to come back. So, hope everybody's doing well. It's late. It's late. Share. Let me do a quick share here. I think uh, he hid his. Zane, can you hear me? Let's see here. Is he's there, but kind of not there. Let me just message him here. Let's see, disconnect. And we connect. Yeah, yeah, guys. So, so you guys know he's uh he's in a remote area. <laughs> he's in a remote area, so we might lost connection, kind of. So, I know, I know, uh, Ryu, I lost, I lost, uh, Zane. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a moment here. Um. Let me see here. I think let me let me kill him. Let me remove him, and then have him come back. So, ah, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Let me share this on the other group. Oop! Oh, Sammy just messaged me. Okay, so he's rejoining. So yeah. Um, Man, long day today. I just woke up actually. What's everybody doing? How's the how's the game? You guys watching a game right now? Huh? I don't even know who's playing. The uh, Packers playing this weekend. How did it do? Let's see here. Yeah, he's connecting. Oh man! Oh man! Ah, okay. He's joining. Give us a moment. <laughs> he lost connection a bit. That guy is in a remote spot. So uh, uh, uh his connection might be uh yeah. 
<laughs> crappy internet in Thailand. <laughs> oh, that could be, you know. I don't think he's in Thailand right now, so. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. It's working. It takes a little it takes a little time here. So uh yeah, guys, the famous Z Lower. It's excited to get him on the show here. Oh, there you go. Here. <laughs> there we go. Uh let me let me switch you here. All right. Was it me or was it you? <laughs> I think it was me. Most likely it's me. <laughs> hey, man. No worries. He's in a remote spot. So if we lose him again. <laughs> uh so sorry so sorry guys but he's in a remote spot so um yeah in a remote spot i guess what do you are you like are you are you using your phone or what do you just got a normal internet connection or my phone because i decided not to get internet here because the internet connection is so bad that my phone connection is actually better than my um my home internet to be honest with you yeah so yeah it's, it's so <laughs> No, I get it. That's like uh, that's like me, you know. Uh, I'm in a kind of remote spot too, and um, so like before I had uh, before they actually got um, the high speed uh, at to my house, I had to use my phone to get internet. <laughs> <laughs> so I know exactly what you're talking you. about. I feel you. Us, <laughs> us more people, man. We like to live out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, guys. Give him a hi, give him a like, give him some thumbs up, and then uh, let's start the show, right? So, um, yeah, yeah. So, somebody just messaged me here. So, let me do uh, one more thing here and we'll kick it off. Oh, man. That was a little, got me a little stressed there. If you can come back. <laughs> I was like, what? What did they I was going to, yep, 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 no, no, no. I kept doing that for a few, few minutes. And they cut that. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh! You lose your audio. Is it gone? Oh, okay, man. there we go. There you go. There you go. There you go. So we'll go in and out, guys. So if we get this, you guys get this. It, you know, um, just be patient with us. All right. So, That's okay. um, so yeah. So uh, some guys say, hey, maybe he's in Thailand because uh, <laughs> your internet's so bad. <laughs> I think Thailand has good internet when I was there. Thailand has the best internet, you guys. <laughs> Better than the essay, I swear to God. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Because, like, man, when I was there, you know, I didn't have any issues with, you know. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, let's go ahead and start, bro. So, uh, hey, everybody, welcome to Mom Hustler Show Forty Four with the famous Zane Lore. Hey, man, dude, I'm like so excited to see you here. <laughs> Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little about Thailand. You know, I, I he went down to Thailand, stayed there for you know a few couple months, and then uh, you know, so he's got some idea of how Thailand works. And uh, yeah, so if you guys got any questions about Thailand, comment below, and uh, we'll try to see if we can answer it. And uh, we're gonna talk a little about investing in Thailand too. So um, you know, since this show is all about you know finance and investing and stuff like that, yeah, he's got some ideas about it. So I mean, uh, I like to get his import uh, input on it. And um, and then he's got a project in the in the U.S. like a development project uh, going on. So that's what caught me with him. Uh, that's what got my attention when he did that. He did a video on it. So I was like, wow, that's like a huge project that he's trying to do. So uh, I want to talk a little about about that too. So uh, but you know, let's start with the Thailand stuff um, because you know I went there and do I loved it too. And you know I wanted to get. Uh, some input as well and, and do you guys have any questions time make sure you comment below so we can answer it so uh welcome to the show bro <clears throat> well, i see no comments man <laughs> really oh man no well it is here it is a beta it is a beta uh uh thing that was going on here how about this can you see this when when it says uh bow says hello you are live host. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I see, man. <laughs> so, so I'll, 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 uh, then I'll go ahead and read out the comments, um, uh, for you, uh, when the questions come up. Sounds good. Cool. All right, man. So, uh, so you went to Thailand. How long did you stay there? 
I actually went to Thailand for one whole year. I went 2000 and uh, beginning 2019, and I stayed there till 2000, no, 2020 of March. I was going to say longer, but my mom was like, <laughs> So I have to come back home just to help my mom court. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. stay longer. Yeah. Oh, man. Bro, I hope everything turned out all right with your mom. <laughs> yeah, it, it was okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, so, so, like, where, where did you stay at? Uh, what town or what city, I guess? Before I moved to, I actually, before I went to Thailand, I actually, I knew that I wanted to stay in Chiang Mai because i've been to bangkok and i hated bangkok so um i my whole purpose is just to see what business opportunities i can take advantage of or learn and mm -hmm. my because i know that Chiang Mai is going to be a, 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 a the next big thing in, in, in thailand so i stay in Chiang Mai for one whole year dude so so that's so i did get so i actually did go there too so i did i went to bangkok and Chiang Mai. <laughs> Why? So, it, tell me why you didn't like Bangkok, and this we had the same, um, I guess, same hate for it. <laughs> to be honest, Bangkok is like it's like hell. It's like hot as hell, hot as yeah. hell, and so so like tight that I feel like I'm stuck in a box all day, like twenty four seven. So I wanted to go to um to Chiang Mai because they want to the zone. Those own good. It, yeah, you know, the air pollution is actually not that bad in Chiang Mai, so you know that's why I wanted to be in Chiang Mai. Yeah, that that's that's about right. I mean, it just seemed kind of like kind of dirty in uh, Bangkok. It is very. Yeah, I just thought like, I mean, it's a nice city. I just figured if they just learn how to pressure wash, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. Yep. yep. If it's like a pressure wash, everything would just look nice, you know, because it's all black and maybe just the right. pollution or something. Um, pollution, man. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's really busy, uh, but I think, you know, if they just pressure wash everything, it would be like, <laughs> dude, I like that place. <laughs> I'd rather, yes, I would not stay in Bangkok. Was that? I'd rather live in the, in the states compared to you know Bangkok. Oh, oh yeah, there's there's a lot of people there though. So yeah, you're right, you know. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, I took that train, whatever it is, and yeah, it, it was it was it has a nice scenery uh, as well, like you know all the apartment and stuff like that. Bangkok, um, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just figured. I'm from Chicago, so I just thought. <laughs> Man, because nothing, man. It's yeah, yeah. Living. But yeah, Chiang Mai is cool. Um, you're right too, because we did, you know, we stayed a few days, and yeah, you know, I liked it. And you're right, it's it's for more um, has more of the trees and all the, you know, mountain stuff. Like you know, it's a little bit more laid back and stuff. So yeah, yeah. so yes, I hear what you're saying. So um, so so man, I forgot. Where did you stay at? You see Chiang Mai, right? Um, I, I stay in Chiang Mai. I um. Chiang Mai has three, three parts. There's Old Town. Old Town is like the original, um, original, original place where everything started. And then they branch out to Niman. Niman is uh, Niman is more of the the rich, 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 rich area. And yeah. then uh, um, my place was on the the other side, which is like um, Central Festival Mall, which is the biggest mall in in Chiang Mai. It's uh -huh outside of the city a little bit but it's not 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 that far out so it's about 15 minutes uh 15 minutes away from uh, old town and um Niman. so oh okay cool what's up buddy <laughs> yeah so yeah so um uh so like Dude, uh, I, I just curious, like, how much was rent there? Because I went there as a as a tourist, you know. So we just kind of stayed in the, and they call it like um, five star hotel, you know. And dude, it was like, uh, uh, it was decent. I mean, I'm like, it's five star. I'm like, okay. So I'm just curious, like, uh, how much were you paying for rent there? Well, when I went there, I actually rented a hotel in um, a hotel yeah. in um, Old City. Old city, uh, and then you know, I stayed there for about a week and a half. And during that week and a half period of time, I actually contacted uh, a Mika, uh, 
realtor place over and they took me around to see all the you know the the condos and apartments that i want to i want to rent rent uh -huh. and it ranges from 75 bucks all the way to like probably pana a few thousands uh-huh so depend on your budget and what you like in your lifestyle so i actually <laughs> stayed at uh um a condo called pin d condo d condo pin and it cost me 400 and no, fifteen thousand baht, so about four seventy five. Four seventy five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of, uh, I glanced at it. Uh, I think when you were doing like a, like a little video of it, it was pretty cool. I mean, I was like, wow, you know. Um, uh, so, you know, four seventy five. Was it, it was just one bedroom, or was it like? It's one bedroom, a kitchen, and uh, a bathroom. Uh, the thing I like about it is that it's, it's, it's a gated community so no one can go in and get out unless yeah 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 to get in so yeah not because so i want to make sure that i'm safe over there so that's why i got that place huh okay was it i mean it's i think it's kind of safe there would you think to be honest a lot safer man <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i was like a lot safer. i didn't feel threatened at all or anything like that so i mean i guess you just wanted that kind of like privacy right i do i do <laughs> I <love> yeah <laughs> <that. laughs> so so hey those of you guys just join you know um say hi to the to zane you know so what's up Kat? and um yeah and uh uh we're talking a little about tyler right now and uh, you know he's been there for like a year uh, uh a year um and and if you have any questions about it you know uh, i know some of you guys are actually looking to come retire over there right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's and then some of you guys just looking to, to like visit you know so i'm sure he's got tons of knowledge about it um so um so if you got questions about thailand comment below and we'll try to get the uh get that to be answered um so yeah so dude 70, so 75 bucks I mean what does the 75 buck look like like a <laughs> new 75 bucks per month it's not it's like it's like a in the states it's like a hotel room it's like you get a bed you get a bathroom yeah. that's it that's it that's okay bucks. but you know it's yeah <laughs> it's, it's just a place <laughs> and then when I mean, you say like what two two or three thousand dollars i mean are these like mansions or something like that dude that's nice as hell man <laughs> <laughs> so luxurious so she can both be um, one of these days, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> one of these days. Is that is that like the one that you posted where it's like, it was like, the, the scenery was like, you know, the infinite pool and everything. Was that kind of like that, or that's is it like that? That's when Kosamoy. That's actually uh -huh. a that you get there in uh, uh, I actually want to buy a property like that there in Kosamoy and uh -huh. just probably rent it out. Look at Mosho there. Yeah, I, I saw it. I was like, man, that's... <laughs> it is nice. So, but it's kind of like, but so, you know, but that in Chai Mai, that, that, that mount, I guess you just get like the mountains and stuff like you just get a nice scenery, right? You get With a that. mountain view and, um, if you, if you're like right in the, um, in the city center, you can just share push up a condo complex. I go, you can see everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this she, uh, I don't like to live in all that like busy life life lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I prefer living like in Asia, but not too far out. So, y'all don't know Nepal lifestyle. So, she needs to talk. So, whoever goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, like, uh, let's talk about food, right? So, everybody, you know, everybody that goes to Thailand, they're like, you know, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> eat as much as you can <laughs> like we're like just throw money in it like just keep you know let the food flow like is that <laughs> which was kind of like how i did too i would i just kind of just <laughs> spent and spent and spent that's cool. type yeah day. to be honest with you type day like the point here on the gucci point but be like high it's not as cheap as people say it is all uh -huh. the food that's on the um that's cheap but when you go to like um restaurants, it's not as cheap compared to like street street food. Uh -huh. Cheap like twenty baht, thirty baht, forty baht, fifty baht. But if you go to like an actual restaurant, like the mall, you know, like the mall mall, it's like you know, eat one baht, you know, eat one baht. So you know, 
Bitcoin bot is like thirty bot is like a dollar. You know, currency is it's like a dollar. Yeah. So um, so if you, if you eat the mall, if you eat within the mall, it's, it's actually like cheaper, not as cheap. Local foods are are, are much cheaper than you know foreign food. Foreign food. Uh-huh. Like, uh, for example, KFC. Yeah. KFC is like, oh my God, so sweet. Everything is so sweet, man. Yeah. It, it, it tastes nothing like KFC in the States here. So uh-huh. they 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 tend to make all the food catering to the locals. Mm-hmm. So it is it is cheap if you, if you eat on the street, like the street street, but you can yeah. not eat. Like I'd rather eat like from the street because it just looks more pleasant. Is that what were you doing uh over there? I was actually eating everywhere. I ate on the streets, I ate at the mall, I ate at the yeah. really, really expensive place. I ate everywhere, man. What do you mean? Does it does it all compare to the same? Because like whatever I saw in the restaurant, it just didn't look, I mean. Maybe because it's yeah, go ahead. The, the restaurant food is not as good as the street food, to be honest. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, food, gotcha, oh, like, it's more expensive, but it's not as good as street food, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just figured, you know, it just me looking at like, like you can walk and you bought couple of the and you can kind of just glance over like and see what they're eating. You're like, ah, you just look at like yeah. normal, you know, yeah. food. But come with just street food, like it's it's like oh man, you see that guy? He's actually grilling the chicken right in front of you, <laughs> and you see it like popping, like oh. you know, hot. You know, he's like, okay, I'll take that. You know, you get to pick what you want. You know, give me some sticky rice right there, and you just kind of like. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> the old town. They got this, this place right. I forgot what's at, but it's around the street. Oh, very very fatty. Gotcha. Pizza, pizza. I'm like, I'm yeah. gonna fight for that shit, man. I'm gonna fight for that. <laughs> the portion is so small, so we got you know, the portion. Man, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. I want five of that, six of that, ten of that, because it's small as hell, man. <laughs> man like that. Yeah, cheap. that's cheap. That's true. That's true. Because we went to buy some chicken and some chicken hearts. You know, they grilled the chicken hearts, and it was like. All right, I'll get three of those, and I feel like a pig, but it's like it's really, it's really small. Amazing. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, so it's so it's you know, uh, I mean, that's that's how it, I mean, it does, there's really no other way to say it, you know, like as, as far as in cheap food, but it is, I, I guess it is cheaper, I mean, than just eating at US. So, if we kind of narrow it down, like if, if you know, rent and food is cheap, then I guess what's next, right? Uh, like yeah. water, right? Uh, I mean, when we went there, I was afraid of water. What do you think about water over there? Like, what? You know, within the whole entire year, when the whole day, I never drank anything from the sink because even my Thai friend told me not to drink anything from the sink because my teacher told me do not drink from the sink. Get get bottled water. So, you know, I I got like that jug of um about um I think six or ten jug of a uh, uh, water that that high, and I just go and, and refill every single time. So, th- so there Chicago. is, so it's not a rumor that it's bad water, I guess, you know? So, like, honestly, I don't huh. I, I okay. know, but you know, they said don't drink from tap. So I just get like bottled water. Maybe they just lie because they want money. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> huh. And they're like, they're like, uh, don't even get the ice, you know? Like, yeah, ice yeah. water. You know, like, like get the ice. You know how they give you a drink. You're like, oh, you order a drink. They're like, oh, you want some ice with that? Like, they're like, don't get, don't get that either. You know, I'm like, I'm like, what? Man, it must be that bad or something. You know. So yeah, that was kind of my phobia too when I got there. So so I guess you you didn't even touch it as well. You you, you know you stuck to bottle the bottle of water. water, huh? Okay, okay, it's cool, man. Not that bad because you call bottle you you. Kyombas, not Kyombas. It's not even even like Opisena. It's it's cheap. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, all right, guys, stay away from the water. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you can bake. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So, uh, so I'm so if you guys notice the 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 what I'm what I'm doing here, I'm you know we talking about you know shelter, you know food, water, 
And now we're kind of just seeing how the Thai people live because we're trying to get to the investing part of Thailand, right? Like, should you invest there as well? So, so like, you know, um, what I mean, when I went there, I didn't see a lot of kids. I mean, is that are they hiding their kids over there? <laughs> <laughs> Honest, I did not see any kids over there at all. One That's kid, weird, right? No kid. No kids. Honestly, which boy? teenagers and up no kids at all yeah um like what's going on uh, to be honest I, i'm thinking that maybe they're thailand is trying to you know put their kids to study hard like how china is with their kids i don't know but i don't see uh -huh. no 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 kids at all i'm mostly like you know yeah uh, teenager and up but no kids yeah because it was like that in, in bangkok and it was like that in chiang mai and yep. uh, i was like I was talking to my wife, and like, where's all the kids? And I was like, it's kind of weird, you know. Maybe it's maybe we're thinking maybe it's just a tourist spot, you know. And the kids are out like in the country or something or something. I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't see any kids. I didn't see no kids at all. But up. but in the the reason why I say that is like, um, it could just be like they're out there hustling, right? Like doing the shops and stuff like that. So they don't want the kids. Actually, speaking of that, there kupar, kupar, um. When I went out to like eat the restaurant, like there were like a few kids. They they came to my my table asking for money to buy whatever products they, they're selling. And my yeah, my um my friend, which is Thai, he said, Oh, don't buy it, don't buy it because um most of the time your, your kids are not they're working for like pimps. Uh -huh. Working for like, people who kidnap them just to just to like, you know, oh try. man people so my friend told me not to give them any money but i felt bad i, I gave them money you know anyways you know because i used to feel bad and yeah. he was like don't do that don't do that don't ever do it because you know they're not getting yeah. just the the, the the pimp that's pimping around getting the money yeah so huh. that's, that's I me mean, also besides that with chipotle yeah that's weird and but you know i went to that we actually went to the home towns up there and you know yeah you see kids everywhere like the mong the mong kid huh yeah, you see them rolling around, um, <clears throat> walking around in the shops and stuff like that. It was just like in Thailand, like you know, in like Chiang Mai and Bangkok. That's kind of when I went. I didn't see any, um, so that's, I thought that was kind of weird. But like you know, so like you know, how did you see like it, like the the people? Like how do they how do they live and stuff like that? Because I I you know all I see is them hustling, like selling the stuff every day on in and out. Like is that is that how you see them? Like you. They look like they're always hard worker. They're all working. They're always working to go bike. When every time I, I I drive to like take my take my grab to like school, everyone's very busy. Like New York City, people are just doing it whatever they, that they're doing. Like, they're just doing whatever they're doing. We need you ball because we just do it. everyone is doing what they're doing. We need you ball. Name what China? Someone is yeah. in Thailand. Even the two two people even. The uh, make other people they're, they're just probably like you know trying to figure out where they're going i don't know but <laughs> you know people just i don't see him like i don't see him like uh like they're just drinking and talking to each other right yeah, just to relax yeah i don't see that at all it's like man they must be like just pure hustling like yeah. you know because it's a tourist town or something i'm like i i don't know man so I, that's why it's, the uh, country, man. You huh? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I mean, that. that I mean, where we went was just a lot of tours. Uh, so, yeah, you can see like most of the people, the Thai people, or you can see like, yeah, they're there's a serve, you know, and just to like, of course, man. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's got a lot, a lot of great places to go visit, you know, <laughs> and great food, and you know, and they're all nice. I mean, like I said, I was not, yep. I was not afraid, you know. Yeah yeah so me like i feel more comfortable walking in thailand in the, in the, in the, at night compared yeah. to the states here i yeah. feel much much more comfortable in thailand walking anywhere <clears throat> doing anything in thailand. yeah same here so uh if you guys are going you know you should be okay because <laughs> i came yeah. back and <laughs> didn't stay for a year and he yep. came back <laughs> <laughs> watch out for tutu because they're they're gonna scam you. <laughs> That's the only thing you need to watch out for tutu. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Like, what's uh, what kind of scams? I mean, that you're that you saw. I actually got times when I was there. 
Um, when I first got there, I wanted to go to like the Saturday night market in Chiang Mai, and my hotel was actually like around the block from um the the Saturday night market. I didn't know that, so I mm. went outside to grab a tutu, and he took me up. 15 minutes around this, you know, just around driving around. And then yeah. he came back to the same place. I was like, that's why, that's why, you know, you pick me up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I got scammed. 300. Oh, I think it was, uh, you talking about like the, they call it the tuk tuk or whatever it is. The tuk tuk, yeah. Yeah, those guys, they're like, they're like, stay away from those things, right? Is that, is that what it is? Or if you guys go, Tommy, go, go with Grab. Grab is like the most, Grab is like Uber in the States here, so go with Grab. Never, ever, ever go with Tutu, man. Yeah. Honestly. That's what they always say. Like, yeah, that's what my tourist guy said. They're like, oh, yeah. stay away from them. I mean, it's nice to just jump in and, you know, they take you and, uh, but everybody <laughs> yep. warned me against that. I'm like, okay, I guess. So that I did use that, uh, that whatever service you were talking about. Just so, so whenever we need to go somewhere, we just open up the app and just say, hey, we're going here. And then I guess we just, pay the guy on on the app you know whatever so yeah so that's it man so hey you guys who else you guys just joined us we're we're, we're talking about thailand and we're, we're going to go into the investment part of thailand like you know um uh how to invest in like real estate or something so uh and then we're going to jump into like what zane's doing like in his development uh over here in the states so uh give him a hi you know or give him like a thumbs up uh thanks for uh having him join yes. and if you guys have any questions about thailand comment below and uh, we'll try to get them answered in a bit so um, <laughs> that's right so you guys looking to live there he's lived there or you know as well so you know uh yeah what's what's the best like so you like Chiang Mai, right? Is there another like there's other like places? Do you like like the south where it's beaches and everything too? Or I've have you been there? Pata. I've been to Pata, I've been to um Kusamoy. Yeah. I've been to um those island places, but more more like all those like mother nature stuff that's gonna kill me. So I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> so that's why you know I, I, I stay up north. But I've been to the islands and to Yeah. Uh, you talk about like the tsunami and stuff like that. Is that what you're talking about? I'm so scared of tsunami. Good <laughs> boy. I'm watching the tsunami 2005, 2004. Yeah. And, yeah. I'm like, man. No, and die. <laughs> so, I know, that's... man. When I first when I first heard about that, they say like, okay, oh, that's like a thousand people, and then it went to like ten thousand, and it was like it kept climbing. Dude, I'm like, yeah. You know, a hundred people is bad. Like every thousand, they keep increasing it. I'm like that is devastating and then i think what, what was it three hundred thousand people or yeah. something like that no, that is a lot of people like just no. gone you know so yeah that's so if that's the case yeah i got yeah you're right it's pretty scary you know <laughs> hey, Chipo, yeah, yeah where are you gonna run right where are you, you gonna run to <laughs> you can't you just step up up to the whatever building you on climb up. yeah <laughs> my gosh so like okay so uh, so you've been to those, like, what would you like? I mean, if I'm looking to invest, like, down there, like, what's a good, what's a good city do you like down there? Like, I, um, I'm going to talk about where I've been mostly, which is Chiang Mai, and I've been exploring okay. the, 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 um, the land over there. Yeah. The land is so expensive, man, because I'm thinking that maybe the next, you know, five, ten years, Chiang Mai is going to be the next Bangkok. Uh -huh. And we have to and for land at the moment, they're gonna make a lot of money in Chiang Mai. Um, <clears throat> I looked at a lot of places. Good. I looked at one place about 15 minutes from a hospital. It's right off the freeway, and half an acre is like 5.5 million baht, which is like 165 thousand dollar US dollar for half an acre, huh? Oh. half an acre, <laughs> which is like yeah, half an acre. Yeah, and there's yeah, yeah. Um, when I was there, I was friends with this um this this owner at a bar, and mm -hmm. in Thailand, you don't need a, a real estate license. Anyone can be, a, a, you know, an agent. Anyone. So, oh. okay. So um, my friend who owned a, a nightclub, she was trying to get me by. She, she was trying to offer me, you know, one acre for one acre for fifteen million baht. <laughs> fifteen million baht. 
Yeah, yeah. And it's right off the freeway. Uh, the places that's not next to the hospital. It's right in the city. I'm like, no, that's that's like 18 million miles. Like, huh? It's like almost like half a million dollars for half an acre. Yeah. Half an acre. I'm like, yeah. And yeah, thanks for doing the math with me. <laughs> so, but, but so you're saying that's the spot. If that's if it costs that much, then I was like, yeah, they're they're looking to that place gonna just kind of blow up, right? So um I think that the not it's 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 too too expensive. They the, the Thai people know that 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 it's gonna blow up, so they're making it expensive as heck for people to yeah. to buy. Uh-huh. And even with condos, condos are so expensive, you know, in Bangkok, you know, some condos are like, you know, up or you know, four, five hundred thousand dollars just for condos. And I think one of the reasons why that is because the government wants the government wants people to develop the land mm-hmm. so that that's gonna be like the next Singapore or next big city the country. Yeah. So that they're making <clears throat> condos just as expensive as land. Yeah. Like, but you know it's kind of weird like when i went to uh, bangkok um there's a lot of rundown buildings yeah and uh, i was like why why is that you know do, do you know why that's the case like you would think that they would develop it or something is that with 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 bangkok um to be honest would you know bangkok I've been there maybe twice. it was <laughs> maybe it's just maybe i just went to the slums <laughs> where did you go <laughs> where did you go i know <laughs> Oh, Bingo has beautiful, beautiful buildings. You probably went yeah. to the <laughs> I probably went to the ghetto because I was like, man, you know, I mean, we stayed at we stayed at a five star, you know, but and we just did the walk around just to, for the, the food and all that stuff. And there was a lot of rundown uh, areas there, too. So I'm like, you know, what if I just go in there and say, hey, because the structure is there, right? Mm-hmm. All the walls are blown out, but the, the interior structure is still there. So oh. you just need to go and frame the exterior walls and then just do the interior <clears throat> and i was like man what if what if i just what if an investor do that but then when when i saw your video saying that you can't buy a property or something like that you can only lease it how does is that is that right is that is that how you is that what they were saying with the property like if you want to buy land you can't own land you have to lease it yeah and when i was there um looking at different places for sale a lot of different places for sale that that they never finished. They went halfway, they never finished. So I'm thinking that whoever Chinese people who ever bought it, they yeah, never, you know, they, they just that's they probably, probably why. Yeah, they probably went went through bankruptcy because um, it's so expensive, Nikki. You know, it's so expensive that you're not going to have unless you have a lot, a lot of investors to invest to you, to your project. Yeah. You're gonna go out of business, huh. so just to buy the land, just to lease the land, and uh, the tight. Um, the government is trying to. Um, the reason why the locals are are selling their their land because it's because you know uh, the government is actually increasing the the, the property tax in Thailand, uh-huh. so they don't have that. You know, before that it was free. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so gotcha. Now that they're being taxed, they have to sell it. So, oh. you know, even if you, even if getting sure whoever, you know, buy that land, bought that land to develop it, they're still going to have to pay property tax and with all investors to help them put that, put that there, they ain't, they ain't pitched on. Beautiful as hell. Yeah. It's like $1.7 billion. I'm like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> 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 all by, yeah, yeah. All by a Chinese company. They never finished it. Yeah, it, it, I think you're right because, like, I'm just thinking about it now. It it looked like it was never finished, and then the, the pollution just took over it. So it looks like it looks run down. That's why we're talking about the pressure washing because I think if they just pressure wash it, it looks like brand new, and then you just need to do the exterior and all that stuff. So, yep. uh, I, I think we figured it out. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Dang, we had a quick question here. It's like, uh, Sorry, man. I'm missing. I'm missing some of your uh, questions here. Here is uh, Christopher goes. Hey, if you were to do it again, would you ever? Would you go elsewhere instead of Thailand? Um. Uh, yes. 
I would love to go to Laos because I'm thinking Laos is going to be the next big, big country because that's not a big country. Chinese people are building like all these different roads in, in Laos. Yeah. And lands are so, so cheap right now. So if you guys have money, invest into Laos, but you cannot buy land with your name in Laos. So you have to have someone who lives in Laos to put that land under their name. And then yeah. go. So, you know, if I, you know, I, you know, I would do it all over again and go to Laos and just invest into Laos because I got family in Laos. Do I trust huh? family in Laos? No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no. Uh, but, you know, um, yeah, I, I would definitely go to Laos. Laos is gonna be the next yeah. big country that. So is it is it the same process? Like, you, uh, you you can't own it, but you can lease it, right? Is that the same process too? But I think you you could lease it, but you can't own it. But okay, you know, yeah. Or like doing business, you don't want to own it. You want just to you know buy it, and then when you profit, sell it. You know yeah. why you want to keep it <laughs> if you're just gonna do it to profit. Yeah, so I was thinking about that the that day. I was like, how does it how does it work? And I think you kind of mentioned it in your video, um, is that the Chinese people they come in, they buy uh well they they lease it, right? And then they developed it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um and then they sell it. Yeah, yes. much, right with the business. That's what a lot of Chinese people do in Thailand because I think Chinese there's 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 a lot of Chinese town in Thailand in Thailand, especially yeah. so um and niman and niman like half of the place there is owned by chinese people uh, yeah. like right everywhere because they own it yeah they own it they, they, they re-release it like you can lease it for like 30 years and then just once you lease over release it again do another lease yeah just keep going and going and going, mm -hmm. and going. so you know take you own in the way you do own it but you, you don't really own it <laughs> No, that's right. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's just, you know, getting that, that money, right? The cash flow, or whatever it is that's coming from. And you can sell it. I mean, I guess you can sell it or you can lease it back. And I'm sure the other person, you can't, they're not going to be able to buy it. Or either they buy it back from you or you can just lease it again, extend that lease. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I was thinking, man, that's, if that's the case, I mean, there's no reason to buy it. Um, um and that's it that's if that's the case so um yeah that was kind of the gist of it uh from your video and i was pretty like um uh, uh i like that idea so uh, is there any cap any other caveats and other than that you said it was 99 years right for uh Th thailand right um you could for you that could lease re um renew your lease 30 years and then after 30 years release it again release it again but once you um Oh, it's 30 years, right? So it's you 30, can only lease it for 30 years. Yeah, lease for 30 years. And then before your contract ends, you lease it again. And then yeah. again, and again, and again. Yeah. You just get yeah. to. But and, you can. Uh, yeah. It goes back gotcha. to. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mekong River, I guess that's it. That's the one. I wasn't sure, Mekong but you River. saw, I saw, I saw the, I saw the, um, the casino, the Chinese were building in Laos. Uh, uh, yeah, in Laos. Uh, so you're in that, you're on the Thailand side, and you can take the the river down, and you can see from the okay. Laos side is the Chinese people, and they're like, they were mad. You know, the the yeah. Laos guys were mad at the. The Chinese guys go there, you know. I guess they. I guess the deal was to something. I mean, the tourist person was telling me this. So, so the deal was, Chinese people come in, they lease the, and then there's the Laos people were expecting to bring to, when Chinese come, they be hiring the Laos people to build these kind of stuff, right? And uh, I guess what happened was the Chinese people bought their own people to build. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, I guess that was it. I was like, oh, wow, you know. So, oh, geez. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you want to invest? Now, right now, Thailand is very, very expensive. So if you have extra money to waste, go to Thailand because it's, it's so expensive that you can going to waste to go do in Thailand. But if you do not have money to waste, go to Laos. I mean, all my dad's um, brother and sister live in Laos. And... Short, short bought a lot of their land. Short kind of kicked them out, so the mm -hmm. short built 
through their you know their village or their house just to you know hmm. just to build yeah. <laughs> so you know if you know maybe i might invest into laos land <laughs> <laughs> so forget thailand guys let's just go lost you know let's just change the name of the show <laughs> so so if you want so you, i guess what you're saying is the the market is laos than thailand because mm -hmm. if you if you had a lot of money to invest go to thailand if you don't and you want to be where the wave is gonna um yeah go to laos um and invest there so cool man that's cool that's good tip i mean i didn't uh, I didn't kind of quite realize that, um, but you know that would be because it's right next to Thailand. It is. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, man. So, uh, man, anything oh. about in else investing in Thailand? I guess you know, other than just, I guess, just come visit it. You know, if you want a good time, cheap, um, very cheap, man. Pretty <laughs> all good. Yeah it is so all right so let's see if there's any questions this massage in thailand is cheap 400 baht about 13 dollars does that sound right <laughs> massaging is very cheap in thailand you get massages like three, three times a week <laughs> so you can actually go to the, the actual place or they can come massage you at your place so depending on what you want yeah yeah we actually did that uh i had my um we had a um my tourist guy say hey you guys want people to come to your hotel i'm like oh that's kind of weird <laughs> but i didn't think they were licensed massage people <laughs> no they're not most of them are not. <laughs> i think it was it felt like it was just like she called up her um it felt like she called up her um her friends and said hey uh you guys want to massage these american dudes yeah. for like uh if, you know for some money and then it felt like it was like a mother and a grandma that came in <laughs> so since i'm so it was me and my wife in there so they gave my wife so my wife's a little smaller so they gave and my, the grandma went over to my wife and massaged her and i got the mom which is a little bit younger and i just felt like okay it yeah. did his thing <laughs> i just must hmm. talk awesome dude look let's tell you they know where all the muscles are at. It's it's like yeah. man. In the states are yeah. not, not compared to massages in Thailand. Okay. Yeah, she was pulling my arm back and I was like, oh my God. Like, oh she help. But yeah, yeah, um the man, it felt like the right? It's like it's it's like yeah 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 so um how do you make a living paying rent that's what bao's saying like what um, do you see so um when i was in thailand speaking for myself when i was in thailand i had enough money <laughs> I, had enough, I had enough money to, uh, <laughs> to go on vacation i actually went to, on vacation for one, one uh, a year um hmm. before that we were like living in the states we did like chicken houses like my parents did restaurants so I was financially stable enough just to go there and just relax, relax and just export all the business opportunities out there. Hmm. Hmm. I okay. Didn't, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't work. I want to party and you know explore. <laughs> <laughs> so, but how do you see like how do you see them like is it because because like I guess see like I see the people there they like, they um is it because they work during daytime and nighttime you have these markets that at night that they come out is that do you see them doing like double shifts like that or is it because certain people come out at night for those or do you well, understand that i, I think with with thailand that time is so tourist that it's just the country that never sleeps never sleep yeah uh, people when you know people work 24 hours some people work 24 hours talk um you know speaking for myself that um I went to school, you know, just to like learn Thai Thai language, and then, you know, I see people doing business and stuff like that. After, you know, you know, you know, went clubbing and you know stuff like that. There, five a.m. People are still at the you know street food, still working. Yeah, they don't sleep at all. So it's like, you know, they're always hustling. Yeah. Okay. 
when you do if you do decide to do business in thailand you know like any other country you have to understand the law <laughs> have to understand the law have to, have to understand you know what you're getting yourself into so taking a time you can do any kind of business you want in there you know any kind of business uh -huh. police is going to control you know half of that so you know you have to understand how to work with the police to get away with whatever kind of business that you're trying to do oh you know, okay there, no i even at a regular restaurant i've seen police they're just talking to the, the, the man Enjoy the owner, whatever kind of you know business they're talking about, you know, like we, yeah. we you know, um, yeah. And in Thailand, like you know, the bar and the nightlife, the bar, because I, you know, like I said, I was there just a vacation to have fun, so I went to uh, explore the bars and with the bars, um, usually at at twelve o'clock, twelve midnight, let you book a you cannot sell any alcohol. Okay. But yeah. then people still sell alcohol. You know, <laughs> Yeah. After midnight, so uh -huh. that's yeah. what the police. You know, they came in. They go like, "Okay, we need money <laughs> from the manager." Oh like, man, yeah. So I asked my friend, "Why are they here?" They checked every single person and in, in, in the bar's ID, and they they, they took my passport too, and. Yeah. My friends like, oh, those are the mafia. <laughs> those are the mafia. <laughs> you know, you can't do certain things in Thailand, and you know they need to get their money. So I'm like, okay, I'm okay. gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, you know, get away with yeah. things in Thailand. You know, with the states, you can't do that. So as long as you know how to, you know, yeah. what kind of business you want to do in Thailand, you can do it. As long as you know how to, you know, you know, work around it. <laughs> Just the. <laughs> Man, we, we're gonna get censored with this, man. They're, the mafia is gonna come out and hit, <laughs> crack our knees with this. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can disguise yourself so you got another identity. <laughs> cool, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so let's talk about, I mean, uh, oh, Matthew did have a question. So, did you get a special visa? For one year or just continue reviewing it so if you're from the states you can get six month visa yeah. but after your six month visa is over what i did was i got my six month visa and then you know i came back from my sister's wedding which is like in april so i went there in january oh. and april you know you young day josh i would come back in june actually not come back i didn't want to come back at all but i had to i have to come back from my sister's wedding so i came back it's <laughs> your sister's wedding you gotta come back bro <laughs> <laughs> if you do have a six month visa, then you can yeah. either leave the country and then get another month and then come back, or you can either like take, you know, Thai language, which which is good for one year, yeah, or Taekwondo, whatever you know, whatever, whatever visa they have for you to to to, to take advantage advantage of, you can do that. With me, I I, I did like uh, English, and actually Thai Thai language, and I did yeah. that. What was that? You were breaking up. So what was the deal? What's the deal with the language? I actually did like Thai language for one year as well. Yeah. So every if you do Thai language every single month, you know, the actual immigration is gonna come to the school and take picture of everyone in school. So, you know, yeah. if, if if you're not in school and, and if the school knows that immigration is gonna come and take picture, then they're gonna have you come and you know be in class and they can take picture of you just uh -huh. to see immigration. So um you can, I oh so that's you're saying that's one way to to extend your stay oh yeah is yeah. by taking the language okay yeah. okay or um or like you know muay thai muay thai muay thai uh yeah. or volunteer to a non-profit organization yeah there are like so many things that so many visa opportunities that you can take advantage of but the, i i did like thai because thai language because i wanted to learn thai so like, yeah. invest, they won't, they can't rip me off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's what I did. So you, you can understand what they're trying to say to the other person, you know. Mm -hmm. Charge them an extra fifty bucks or something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, boy, let's move on. I mean, let's move on to the other topic. So this topic here, um, so those, I mean, 
let's do a little quick here guys uh give them a thumbs up zane for joining us you know um uh i knew of you when you were talking about your development project here in, in the states and uh because i have a real estate group right oh, i have awesome. a real estate group uh and it's it's called Hmong real estate investors okay so so there so a few people saw it your video they were like man this guy is on a different level so they share your your video on it to my investors group and then we all kind of kind of just kind of <laughs> talked about it like we were like wow this guy is the, the the dude you know he's on a different level you know like holy cow so that's how i knew of you and that's how i started following you so so that was some cool stuff that you're you know you know you're doing there and you I and mean, you did the layout and everything and i was like man you know you got something going on because some people just talk about it you actually got something going on so let's talk about that can you tell us about that project that project is going so slow man we're getting shit you know, you could talk like, oh, every time we talk, oh, you have to think about all So, um, when I bought that property, it was like in 2013. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I've been wanting to develop it, but then, you know, I felt like I need to go on a vacation first. I went on a vacation for one year in Thailand, and I came back. <laughs> Damn it, COVID! Damn it, COVID! So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. COVID. So, yeah. By the way, because uh, the Chanel. All the material costs is so expensive. So you can build, you could build. I will not profit. Yeah. If I build it, and after I get done building it, maybe you know who knows the market is gonna go down and go boom bang. So I rather wait, you know, wait because uh, and uh, uh -huh. originally the land was actually bought from um. So no, go ahead. Take take care of him. I'll do a little recap him. You need to give him a bottle or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so just a quick summarize. We talked a little about Thailand. Um, it was, uh, I mean, I enjoyed my time in Thailand and I just want to just talk about it. Uh, and Stevie had the same stuff. Um, so yeah, when I, we went two years ago in Thailand and, uh, when we just to tour, just to see, if you know, because you guys know I do uh, Airbnb and stuff like that um, over in Florida. So if you guys need vacation rental, let me know. And over here by Disney World, and um, I was just because people were saying, oh, "Man, what if you can do something like that in Thailand?" And there, and there was kind of people uh, kind of hitting me up where you can uh, rent these tents over in Thailand, right? And it's just tents, so there's like no you know, building and stuff like that. So you just kind of tent out. So you lay a couple of tents out and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, I can kind of do that. You can get some tents out in Thailand and just kind of like, you know, uh, kind of rent them out as a kind of like Airbnb and stuff like that. And so I kind of went over there to kind of check it out a little bit about that kind of stuff. So, um, uh, that's, that was my story by Thailand, but there you go. Zane's back. So let's talk about that project. So, <laughs> um, so your audio is the audio there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay cool cool so yeah oh look at him so yeah it's getting late that's why he's probably he's probably like it's like 11 o'clock he's probably like oh winding down so um so i watched a little bit of that video i mean how many acres is that like 120 it, acres uh, 120 acres of um land is right off the freeway um it's like you go to minnesota and you go down to like florida right yeah. off freeway. so new york hotel I think it's a good investment because um, originally Walmart bought the land. Okay, Walmart bought the land, but then like, the city will not, you know, put all the city water, you know, to that place. So Walmart kind of abandoned it. And uh -huh. so another place, another person bought the land, and they actually like um, section it to like twenty-two lots, twenty-two uh -huh. lots, and Eli up four acres, five acres per lot, and. You know, when I bought it, the place looks like a, a forest. So, you know, the, the original price was like, you know, 470000 but then um, with, with two, two houses. Yeah. yeah the, the owner actually lived in Cali, and they have to pay, like, you know, mortgage, so they can't pay a mortgage anymore. And so the price went down. <laughs> it went down. It went down. Yeah. Uh, 240, 2, 240,000. So 
know, I, I bought for $24,000 and um, what do that? Wow. Very cheap. <laughs> that's like a, that's like a steal. <laughs> so, so I saw, you know, I saw the video. So yeah. So, so you see Walmart bought it and then, um, and then now you look for septic and you were talking about septics and stuff like that. Yeah. Was that difficult? I mean, I have a septic in one of my rental. I mean, it doesn't seem that that hard, y'all. Are you? But the videos that you were talking about, it seemed like it was you were hitting some sort of. How did? How is that going now? Um, I actually call DNR. They say that you know, as long as, you know, before that, then the, before that, I went and talked to the county. I said, hey, I want to develop this place here. You know, what do you guys think? Because I have to talk to my county. They say that you know, they recommend one acre per house. I could get away with half an acre per house, but they recommend one acre per house, and I can actually do well, 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 and septic. Mm -hmm. So I call, um, you know, the the big place in Jefferson. They say that as long as it's like fifty to hundred feet away from each other, the well and the septic, then they're okay with it. So you know, an acre and half an acre, I could, you know, I, I you know, I can still get away with you know the well and the septic. <laughs> So, so and, that makes so you can put a house and have like okay, so half an acre you can put a house on there yep. with a well and a septic. Yep. And dude, that's gonna work. because uh, <laughs> you just gotta get a bigger house on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's half an acre. I mean you don't have to. You can be like a lot, dude. Yeah. So man. So, so what's what's the horror? I mean, what's it's uh is that is that kind of where you're at now? I think mean, that's kind of what's falling. I'm thinking about half an acre, half an acre because um, an acre is too much, dude. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> half an acre. You you want to make more money? That's what you want to say. Just say it. <laughs> I'm greedy. I got man. So, uh, maybe um, half an acre. Yeah. Okay. Um, with the land here, uh, I, I spoke originally. I want to get invested, but then, um, I, I I have a few investors, but I feel like I feel like I don't want, I don't want to deal with any drama in the in, in the long run, you know. So yeah. you know, with that said, there I have enough since this place is cash already. Yeah. You know? And when I bought it, it was like two hundred and forty thousand, and now it's worth thirteen point, you no know, twelve twelve point three, and so <laughs> equity for me to just yeah. get. Get money from the bank, just do whatever I want to do. So I don't need investment anymore. Not to be cocky, not to be like, you know, you yeah, know, yeah. Go to that route, but I have enough equity just to do whatever. So go uh you know, damn. So you went from <laughs> 240, 240k to like 12 million in right. how many years? I'm like, how, how, you said you bought, bought 2013? Right? You bought 2013, right? Yep. Wow. So yeah, you you got plenty of play space. <laughs> without without investors. Yeah, yeah. Now now it's worth what twelve million. Holy cow, bro! Holy cow. So are you still doing the 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 apartment complex, or are you just gonna have to you just doing uh, the single ones? I do want to do the apartment complex, but I feel like maybe with the whale system, oh. enough. No. Yeah all the you know complex all the houses so maybe i might just do um just houses because, yeah you know my when i spoke to the county they go like oh do you know your neighbor right next to you they have they have like 120 acres for sale or you know th th there's another property right right you know close to the freeway it's 52 acres so whoever you know buy i want to buy that 52 acres and that 120 acres that to my right and to my left i'm actually right in the middle so yeah you know, you know, I don't need to build the uh, the the uh, yeah, yeah, the uh, complex, the yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah. So, that I mean, that 120, I mean, I guess you do half acre each, that's like what 60, 60 houses, you uh, know, 60 houses. Um, half an acre, I have 120 acres, so I can probably build like 200 houses with 100 acre, and then the 20 to 20 acres, I want to make it like. Kind of like a park, park to park for them to people to just to go, you know, relax. Wow, yeah. All the park, all 
the other there are like two pond ponds right next to each other so you know i think that maybe people might like that you know places to relax and do whatever they want to do oh oh gotcha man that's awesome man uh that's this is a great story i mean i love this kind of stuff so uh what's the biggest like hurdle like what are you facing right now like um all the you just like <laughs> I, I just got enough money in there i can just sell it and just be a millionaire right now <laughs> i can sell it i, mean, I can sell it but i don't want to do with it because you could sell and get like 12 million you know i'm not to pay tax so i'd rather get like for example if i do develop it you know and get like 200 houses then my goal to profit at least like 150 to like 200 000 per house because i'm using you know my goal is to use shipping containers yeah and if I do profit like 200,000 per house, <laughs> you just multiply. <laughs> You're okay. We talk, we talk a little about this, right? We talk a little about, uh, just kind of off the air about yeah. the shipping containers. So you're thinking about not building houses. You're thinking about doing the shipping containers on those lots, right? Because, um, you know, there's like tornadoes and the storm's going to, it's going to like, you know, take the, the house away. So, well, she yeah. can, I want to make sure that it's, 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 it's sturdy <clears throat> enough, strong enough. I want to uh, have the foundation be like shipping containers, metal that does not rust and, 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 and you know, crumble. And then mm. there's going to be three layers. One is the 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 metal on the middle part. And then the bottom part is going to be like the traditional wood and, you know, you know, um, wood and sh shop, uh, sh what is it called? She, she rock. And then the, on the outside, it's gonna be like another material. So it's gonna be like three materials. So it's gonna be much stronger than, tr than traditional built house. And well, it's a shipping container, so it's already strong. It's like <laughs> metal. So you're just doing cosmetics at this point, yeah. where you're just kind of making it look good on the outside. <laughs> on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I have to sell to the clients. I, I'm gonna make it expensive. <laughs> yeah, it just oh, yeah, I that's just. Yeah, that's just uh, the name of the game, you know, just trying to make it look good and gain some money out of it. So, man, so let's let's wrap it up, man. I know your baby's, uh, your um, your nephew, right? It's <laughs> nephew, yeah. is, not my baby, man. My nephew. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, dude, um, where can people reach you, man? Because I know you're famous. I mean, let's just let's just throw it out there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's entertaining like i said my wife enjoys your content and all that stuff so um yeah tell us tell us about your uh your page my page is called zane's world and i started uh -huh. that 2015 thing it is so all my videos is to entertain people okay just to entertain people but some people take it so seriously that you know i got banned in 2020 because they take it so seriously from say Facebook, so just enter, just enjoy, enjoy, just relax, and just watch my video. Do not take it seriously. Do not, yeah. take it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, I mean, I I didn't think anything of it. You know, we watch it and we we enjoy all your content on there. So uh, appreciate your stuff, and uh, I was excited to talk talk to you on it. So, um man so um that's it so you know uh guys get a hold of him uh to see his content it's called zane wold on facebook um, um and that's the best way to i guess contact you right or just see his 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 stuff you know um but we do want to end the show um with what we usually ask is if you had a billion dollars what's the first two things you would do with it i mean you're already a millionaire so <laughs> <laughs> If I have a dollar, what would I do with it? Honestly, I don't have a lot of kids. I would get a Syrian mother from all around the world and just have a bunch of babies because I love kids. So I'm gonna have like probably <laughs> babies. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't know. I mean, look at you. You're taking care of one right now, you know. So of course, you know. Man, you better hurry up, bro. <laughs> I know. It's gonna be hard to get up every day. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Oh, so what's the what's the second thing you you would probably do with it? Um, invest. I think I'm gonna invest into like places. I think that's gonna that's gonna be the next big boom. Mm. Real estate wise. And what do you think that 
what, what do you think that's you thinking laos are we going back to laos or i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to laos for sure there you go yeah. the next big boom uh, because you know, they you know built that all those freeways and maybe not but you know i've been when i was in laos i was in thailand for about three four times just to visit my my family's in laos and things are changing dude like the roads are like getting bigger and bigger and bigger so i would just invest to laos by buy yeah. like, if i can own own like 100 thank you yoshi the fact that i can't own it i'm not gonna buy it <laughs> i'm gonna think a different option just to work around it yeah well like like what we we're talking about earlier just you know you lease it right and then yeah and Please. then just fix it uh make it great and then sell it <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome, so there we go guys so this is the end of the show appreciate zane appreciate you uh you know thanks for being a hustler first of all just showing how how much of a hustler you are you know so thanks for coming on the show and guys give him some likes you know give us some likes on this you know Enjoy and um yeah, appreciate you coming on talking about you know i mean i guess so there's there's a different part of you that you know does the entertaining part but then you know i caught on to you during the the business minded stuff and i'm like wow so um that's why i was excited to talk to you about this so uh thanks for coming on the show and uh guys give him some likes and then uh until then guys uh you have anything else to say before i let you go everybody go um thank you for joining us tonight you guys thank you so much i hope that you guys <laughs> You know, got something from from this interview. If you guys don't, then rewatch it, rewatch it again, again, again. If you don't, then look, okay. <laughs> but it's okay. Thank you for having uh, for having me and for joining um me and Chai tonight. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Good night, and then keep hustling. All right. Good night, guys. Yeah.